Born and bred in Southern Africa, Tony Johnston has had a long and distinguished professional career. But alongside his golf, he's also passionate about Africa's wildlife and natural environment. So Tony is heading out beyond the confines of the golf course for a little bit of bush hacking. I have been bush hacking my way down this riverbed now for what seems like hours. Nearly there, but between me and the flag, there is an amazing array of footprints. But thankfully, I have with me my ranger, my teacher, and my tracking guru, Lazarus. Well, there's obviously something seriously large has walked down here. You reckon it's a rhino? How can you tell that's a rhino rather than a hippo? Because they're both huge beasts with similar sized feet. A hippo has got uh, four even toads and a rhino has got three odd toads. If you look over here, you'll see the side toe, front toe, side toe, and uh, a W back. Now Lazarus, you tell me that is a hyena print. How can you be sure of that? Best way to tell if you see hyenas, they've got a permanent claw mark, as you can see, you know, on both four fingers. And as well, if you come to the back side, you'll see it's got a skew uh, back pad and only two uh, little loops at the back. Over here in the shade, we've got a lion's paw print. Laz, you reckon this guy was really shifting? Yes, you can clearly see that. Uh, normally, lions, they've got a retractable claws. So when they after something, you'll see they're uh, exposing their claws. As you can see, that claw mark there over their four uh, toes. Now, Les, that looks like some kind of primate. What do you make of that? This is a baboon uh, hind uh, footprint. Rear print it always shows their thumb on the other side ah. and four toes as you can see one two three four on front this is not the easiest part i've ever faced between kudu prints over lion prints all the very best of luck never up never in but that's been fun thanks Laz. what a hole that was <laughs> 